Hello. Today I'm gonna be talking about some books. So if you like books, stick around because this is gonna be a fun time. So if you happen to have seen some of my videos before, you may know that I made a goal this year to read 20 books and I'm happy to report that I've completed that goal. I'm gonna quickly list the 20 books that I've read this year. Then I'm gonna pick out a few of my favorites and I'll give you the details of those books. And to finish off this video, I'm gonna tell, tell you a little bit about three books that are on my TBR that I'm really looking forward to reading. Sound good? Cool. Here are the 20 books I've read this year. As Long As the Lemon Trees Grow, Book Lovers, Five Survive, And Then There Were None, Murder on the Orient Express, Pure Color, The Island of Missing Trees, The Little Prince, Stone Blind, Mansfield Park, Before the Coffee Gets Cold, What Lies in the Woods, Eden Brook, Ella Enchanted, The Goose Girl, Anna Burning, River Secrets, Once Upon a Broken Heart, Titan's Curse, and The Bandit Queens. As you can see, I like a lot of different genres, a lot of different kinds of books, but like I said, I'm gonna pick out a few of my favorites that I've read so far this year and tell you a little bit about them. So first, is As Long As the Lemon Trees Grow. This book is about, oh man, it's it's about the Syrian revolution and this, this young woman, what it's like for her growing up in this like war-torn environment, in this like really dangerous, really hostile place. And the fight within herself between like leaving and finding safety or staying in her home and like not, giving up on her home you know and so she's kind of at war even within herself about like what she should do this book i feel like touched on some like really like heavy thing themes like trauma and like losing your family and how that can impact you and how that like can really affect you and the way you see the world loyalty to one's like country one's homelands like and so it's like dealing with all these themes but it also has like there's also a clear like plot and storyline that's going on i like exploring themes like these but i also there are times when i'm like i just don't want to think about all these heavy themes sometimes i just need a plot that is interesting a character that i like that i want to follow i just want to see the story unfold for this person and so i feel like this book was a really good balance of that and it also introduced me to a part of the world that i don't know much about i really enjoyed learning a little bit and like seeing what it is like in this other country that I don't know much about. So that was also really good. So I would highly recommend as long as the lemon trees grow. Second, I want to talk about The Little Prince. This book is a children's book. I like to compare it to like a Pixar movie. It's made for children. It was written for children, but there are themes and there are messages in this book that are more are more greatly appreciated by adults. And so reading it as an adult just kind of reminded me just to like chill out, to maybe take life a little bit less seriously, to have a little bit more fun, to like appreciate things more. So I would also highly recommend this one, especially if you're just feeling kind of stuck, kind of, kind of lost, like you don't know what to do or just like any of those things that you feel as like, or that I've felt as like a young 20 something, just the like overwhelmingness, is that a word? <laughs> just like how overwhelming life can be. Like if you feel that sometimes when you get discouraged, I would really encourage you to uh, read this book because I think it would cheer you up a little bit. Okay, my third book is called What Lies in the Woods. This is a, is a thriller. I could not set this down. Like I seriously, like as soon as I read that first like sentence, that first paragraph, like I could not set this down. I read it so fast. There's murder in this book. There's attempted murder in this book. There's a lot, there's a lot in this book. That's kind of graphic. That's kind of makes, <laughs> It makes me feel a little bit squeamish at times, but like, honestly, like I just, I had to know what was going on, why everything was happening. So I just like blasted through this book so fast. Because of that experience of reading this book, I just remembered how fun and how much I loved sitting down and reading a book for hours on end when I was younger and how I haven't really done that recently. Um, just whether it's because of school or work or whatever and like, the last several years I haven't had that experience of like just finding a really good book that I just like really get sucked into. And so this reminded me of that. And after I finished this book, I went on to read like seven books in one month, which which is a lot, uh, a lot more books that I've read in any one month than I have at all this year. So that was kind of like the kickoff for like this reading marathon, this reading sprint, this reading girl era that I am in right now. And I just love reading. 
again because this book just reminded me of how awesome reading is. So <laughs> my three honorable mentions are, and then there were none, The Island of Missing Trees and Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I've talked about and then there were none and The Island of Missing Trees in another video. So if you want to watch that video and see my thoughts on those two books, I'll include that video somewhere here. Quickly, Before the Coffee Gets Cold is about a cafe where if you go and you get a cup of coffee and you sit in a particular seat, you can go back in time. And it's like a compilation of short stories almost where you have these four different people who take advantage of this phenomenon where they can travel back in time while they're drinking their coffee to like get closure. And so it's just this like cozy little read um, where you're where you get to see these people who need closure get closure and it's very satisfying. If you're looking for a cozy, low stakes read, I would totally recommend that one. I enjoyed it a lot. So those are the books that I've read so far this year. Now I'm just gonna quickly tell you a little bit about some books that I'm looking forward to reading. Number one is Tress of the Emerald Sea. This is by Brandon Sanderson and a part of his whole fantasy universe, I guess. I'm gonna dip my toes into the fantasy genre and see how I like it. From the description of it, it's about a girl named Tress. She's always lived on this island. She has this friend who's like a sailor or something. And one day he's, he disappears. And so she is gonna go off and look for him, right? And find him. And so just like from the like description of it, it sounds very fairy tale-ish. I'm looking forward to it. Next is The Only One Left by Riley Sager. This is like a thriller mystery, this like old mansion house. And there's this old lady who lives in the house all by herself. And there are rumors that she killed her whole family. So somebody is like supposed to like go live and care for this old woman in this house. I think it might honestly just be the cover of this book, but this book is giving me and then there were none vibes. And I really enjoyed that book. I'm hoping I'm hoping that this one is kind of like that. I'm curious and I want to know <laughs> what happens with this book. The last book I want to mention is called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Allie from Allison Page's YouTube, she recently talked about this book and it's about this man who works at a carnival he dies <laughs> and in heaven there are these five people who are kind of introducing him to heaven i guess so just based on the premise it sounds like it could have some like deeper philosophical themes but also based on what ali said it also has just like basic like kind of almost like cheesy life advice in it i think some cheesy life advice sounds great and so I'm looking forward to reading some che cheesy life advice. Those are the next three books that I am looking forward to reading. And that's all I have to say for now. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about books. Um, peace out.